What is going on guys, DBG here, and I apologize for this video, some of the stuff is going to be a reenaction of what happened, because I stupidly deleted the video file. Yeah, um, me and doing smart things haven't really gone well together over the last couple of days, whatever uh, about people liking the joke about certain things, yeah, yesterday I realized I'd been partnered on Twitch for two weeks and just didn't read the email. And today, I literally, while trying to free up space for editing, I literally edited the whole video, and while I was rendering, decided to delete the video file. That is, that is maybe one of the dumbest things I've done on YouTube. But lads, you know what? Let's do a reenactment of it. Okay, so we are going to be playing some TTO. And what cards are great for TTO? Base 98 cards. But I know what you guys are thinking. I only have one base 98 card. Well, look at this. There is another base 98 card conveniently sitting in our collection right now. Dwayne Wade. But, um, basically we sniped a Dwayne Wade for like 90k. Um, maybe he's less than 90k. But we sniped a Dwayne Wade for a little bit less than what he's going for. A little bit less than market value. As you know, he was going for 90k, we sniped for 85k. But, not a big deal in the world. We got ourselves a Dwayne Wade. So... Uh, so the reasons why we went for a Dwayne Wade. First of all, this is what our team's looking like. Do I have any intention on playing Unlimited? Hell no. I don't have any intention of playing a non, like, gameplay related. As in, I'll do a gameplay of a card in Unlimited. That's it. I have no intention on that until either they patch the, um, the, um, the glitch, the no play glitch. Unless they patch that glitch or... Um, June the 1st happens and we have to go and get the player of the month card. Until then, I 100% will not be playing any um, My Team Unlimited. Like, I will gladly take not getting Glenn Rice on my Road to Glory account. I will gladly take that. Just to make sure that I don't get hit with that lineup glitch because there is nothing more frustrating. That would make me literally turn off and not make any more videos for the rest of the day if I get hit by that. Fair enough, I get hit by it in, vi in the individual gameplay on an account, especially when I already have Glenn Rice. Not the biggest thing in the world, but otherwise, yeah, I'd be very, very, very annoyed. So, we picked up a Dwayne Wade card, and again, you guys know about Dwayne Wade. We actually sold him for 120k, so in the end, I know it was a long time that we had to wait. We had to wait the longest three weeks in history. We actually sold him the day of the Spotlight Sims, Historics. So, it was the longest three-week wait in history to get Dwayne Wade back, but now we've got Dwayne Wade and Glenn Rice. So... I've been taking on um, TTO, and funnily enough, the menu is actually working fine. If you guys don't know, anyone in Europe that's watching this video will know what I'm talking about. The menus are so glitchy right now. They're so slow. Basically, 2K released the game for 5 euro or 3 euro, depending on what console you're on in Europe. And there has been a surge in popularity this game. And the menus are broken. So it's the same... Same as last year, basically the exact same as 2K19. So I'm telling you right now, the game, be ready. The game's going to be $3 or maybe $5 in US very soon. When I say very soon, I mean very, very soon. The game is going to be that cheap. And the day that happens, EU service is not going to affect it too much. But lads, be ready. Be ready if you're in US servers. Brace yourselves because it's going to be NBA 2K19 times 5. So I'm telling you this right now, like, the servers have been able to hold up less. As in, in 2K19, we didn't really see that many, like, weird auction house breaking and game breaking things until the welcome packs came out, which last year I think was the 5th or 6th of June. This year we've seen so many uh, things just kind of break from, honestly, from the start of the year. However, there are certain things that do work better, and I'm going to admit this, I've only played one laggy game. The actual gameplay seems to be working fine. The problem is that the, if the menu takes so long to load anything, it's going to take you so long to get in and out of the game. So, lads, just expect, expect 2K19, but worse. Maybe it'll be better, but expect it, but worse. I have a feeling we won't see the Yanis card. I thought that the game was going to go on sale. I thought the game was going to go on sale in, um in America this week, and they're going to release Yanis tomorrow. But that's looking more and more unlikely. So, I don't think we see a Yanis tomorrow. I initially did think it, but 
Sherlock, um, it's grand. So we're playing as Kobe, Cowens, and him. We we might be okay. We might be okay. Like again, if our if we're not lagging, we should be all right. Let's get open there. Post hook, post hook, post hook, post hook. Good job, Yanis. Oh wow, oh wow, that's not that's not good. It's gonna be very very tough for me to guard Dave Cowens. Give me that. No, spiked. Right back at the way. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh no. Oh no, the lag is back. The lag is back, lads. Deny. Good. Catch the ball, Yanis. You literally, somehow, the ball went through your hand. The ball hit off your hand like it was literally a pillow and went out of bounds. Pinch. Nothing we can do. Okay, so... Wade, I've struggled with you. I've struggled big time with you. Bang, bang. You are kidding me. Gotta be green in these. Come on. It's not good enough. That's just not good enough. I don't, again, I don't necessarily know if it's server issues or it's me because I know Airjack was playing this game earlier and he uh, he basically, he couldn't play. He genuinely could not play. Uh, he was playing um, online. He had to turn the meter back on. That's bad. That was just a bad release by me. I knew that one felt off. No way. Terrible shot. That's fine. I've hit I've hit two whites, I'm pretty sure. So look, it is what it is. Oh wow, we're lagging bad. We're lagging bad right now. That's a good shot there by Dwayne Wade. We're good though. Dwayne Wade cannot guard Kobe for some reason though. I know he doesn't have any pick dodger, but like that shouldn't be a reason why Kobe's just jamming it on him like this. I don't mind Hakeem shooting the ball to be honest. His release is not the greatest thing in the world. Can I? Hey, sit back, sit back, sit back. We can always get we have time to get back to Hakeem. Good lob. Great pass right there. Give credit where credit is due. That pass was really, really nice. No! You idiot! I clicked pick and pop! Why did you go to the mid-range? Like, why did you not pop? You just went to the middle of nowhere, like. You didn't even go to mid-range, you went to the long two. You went to the three-point line on that Sacramento Kings court where he has two, three, three, or three-point lines. You went to the inner three-point line. Or if you'd just done what any normal human being would have done and popped to the three-point line, we had a wide open shot there because he helped way too, he helped into a terrible position with Dave Counts. We got stuck. We got stuck, shoot that. Bad release. Of course he hits the white though. Of course he hits the white. We are getting straight up screwed right here. And this is my five ball drop game. Oh my God, it's bad pass. I, if he had stole that, I couldn't complain. There we go. Let's go, one more three is needed. You know what, press him and get bumpy. Press him and get bumpy, he's not doing much. Shoot the ball, Hakeem, if you want. We're there. Oh, Giannis. Oh, Giannis. Giannis, set that, set that, set that. Give him the ball. Out the weight, or I'll take the dunk. It was definitely not meant to be that, but... You know, two points, two points. We actually do need to stop here. Because the score here puts them in kill shot range. Giannis! Why is it that when I want you to actually be able to tip the ball into space, your hand is, arm is like a pillow? And then when I want you to, uh, your arm to be like a pillow, your arm becomes a rock. And you tip the ball straight out of, straight back to the opponent. Do what you want with a game. Beat me with a game. Beat me with a game. Beat me with a game. No way, it's half fire. Get that board, Giannis. Corner. Stay for three. Stay for three. Good shot. Let's go. Now we're in kill shot range. Bad shot. Wide open. Game. Let's go. That's our five ball drop sorted. Come on, 2K. Come on, 2K. Now is the time. Now is the time for Dave Cowens. You haven't given me Dave Cowens yet. You've given me Dave Cowens on another account. You have not given me Dave Cowens yet. Now is the time. I think if there's any time for Dave Cowens, now is that time. The very last game. We've won 10 games in a row. This is what we need. You gave me Louis. <laughs> you gave me the terrible Opal. 
It's better than nothing, because you know what? I'll take the 3,000 MT. I'll take the 3,000 MT. I'll take it. I'll take it. Because you know what? Um, almost always you'll hit this card twice. I'm hitting this card twice. I'm pretty sure it's 3,000 MT, is it, to this card? And I'll take it. Obviously, Cowans would have been 100 times better. Because I would actually use Cowans. And I'm not going to use Louis. And we got Louis once. We're probably going to get Louis a second time. So, we'll be fine. We will be fine. We got our free Opal. Great, albeit a terrible Opal. We got our free Opal. And let's hopefully get another one so we can get a couple of thousand MT on a discard. There we go. So we got on it twice. Let's see what he discards for. Either way, we'll get something somewhat decent. We'll get something somewhat decent right here. Which is, uh, which is good. So, let's see. 5,000. That's fine. That's actually fine. I'm more than happy with getting 5,000 MT for this card. So, we're going to go and play one game with single player TTO because whatever about Dave Cowens, Mel Daniels is... I think Cowens is better than Daniels. Daniels is not that much worse, but man, Rudy, Rudy LaRusso is a god. And all I'm saying is, it's a, it's a GG. It doesn't matter that I'm playing against historic line of Michael Jordan. One, I can just rim run and stuff if I need to. And it's an auto win, but I'm telling you, it is a GG. Because the CPU can't guard anybody. Like, you don't need, you don't need quick true SDS anymore. You can trail cheese. If you know how to shoot on trail cheese, you can hit a shot every time because the CPU won't guard it. Either that or just spam crawl, call for screen, spam crossovers at the halfway line. They leave you wide open. Like, once I get the ball, I'll show you. So, like, until we win, we're not going to start letting, until we have this game won, we're not going to start letting them score. Okay, so, watch this. So, we got Jordan on us. Call for screen. Doesn't matter who sets it. The spam, dribble moves wide open. Like, I know I blew the shot. I know I blew the shot. Let's do it again. Bam, crossovers, wide open, green. Like, you can get a three-point shot doing that every single possession. If you don't even need a quick release, because they step under. Like, a lot of... There's other ways of do, going about things like this. And then for trail cheese, like, they're not gonna... Or corner cheese works as well. Get to the corner, call the screen, they step under, you're greened. Like, I'm telling you, you can no longer do it from the wings, but, like... The CPU steps under screens if you spam crossovers or you just set a screen in the corner. It's the reason why if you're playing a hard off baller in this game, or in this game mode, the easiest way to go about things is to just go to the corner. Also, trail cheese works fine. So, look, they're not going to guard this. Even a Jordan won't guard this. Wide open. Every single time. And you can, like, yeah, if you can green wide open threes consistently, you will not ever lose in TTO on offline. It is unbelievably easy to win. Like, unbelievably easy. Let's go, Wade. That's fine. It's fine. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. A couple of screen or a couple of crossovers, green. Like, it's just too easy. And there's a reason why I have um, the base 8 bros, or the base 98 bros, um, in Dwayne Wade and Glenn Rice. It's because a lot of the time, people will start to uh, guard Glenn Rice. And you don't necessarily need two of them, but for me, anyway, I prefer running with two of them. Because if people start to guard. For example, here, like if someone's guarding Glenn Rice and expecting me to use him, I'll just dance around screens. I'll get open with Wade. And Wade is doesn't quite have the shot from Hall of Fame Limitless, but man, Wade is as good, if not better, than Rice in terms of TTO offensive scoring. Obviously, you're not getting the best defensive team ever. The difference between one of the differences between Dwayne Wade and Glenn Rice is Dwayne Wade can do this. Get a very kind of glitchy behind the back to get some space um, off that screen. That's one of the moves that I like to make anyway, is that attacking from the wing into the middle, behind the back into an open shot three. And Dwayne Wade has a much better one than Glenn Rice, from my experience anyway. Um, just screen, someone just come, someone come. Okay, they switched, that's fine. Giannis, come on. Oh, it's wide open anyway. I don't know why I was spamming crossovers. They literally left me wide open. And lads, we open it. And I'm telling you, lads, there's a method. There's a method. 
There is a Twitch streamer named Airjack1. Follow him on Twitter. It's not my method to, or on Twitch. It's not my method to give out, but he's got a method. He has got a vault method that works almost every time. So anyway, lads, yeah, that's pretty much it. We've uh, put together a pretty good unlimited team for a game mode that we don't play anymore. And also, we've put together a team with the base 98 bros of Glenn Rice, uh, Dwayne Wade, and Yanis. Don't worry, at some stage, I'm going to sell Dwayne Wade. I'm going to sell Dwayne Wade. Realistically, it will probably be sometime over the weekend. The only reason I'm keeping him is because, well, for TTO, he's better. And obviously, once um, once we do sell our Dwayne Wade, the real D Wade comes back in. We will obviously be replacing Dwayne with Dean Wade. So there will always be a D Wade somewhere in the squad anyway. So we're going to the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.